every day, the first thing they do is run to the garden and see where things are at. Wendy, I found the one. Did you? It's harvest time at Little Pro Family Child Care, and this backyard garden is bursting at the seams with fresh produce. My beans were going like crazy last week. I like them. There you go. Perfect. Good job. Right. This year has been an amazing garden experience. Just we've had lots of sun, lots of rain, so the gardens are flourishing. They're huge. There. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's get a red one, too. Who wants to do the red one? Oh, me, 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 okay, me. And are the kids ever excited about their bumper crop? This is their garden. They have ownership of the garden. They water it, they harvest it, they planted it. Awesome. I'll take a few more. Oh, well, thank you. We have chard, okra, basil, some carrots, one tomato plant, a number of cucumber plants, yellow beans, green beans, purple beans, and then green peppers. All of these nutritious options are a result of early sprouts, a program that teaches providers like Wendy Prokosh how to add a garden into her childcare setting. I just thought it would be really interesting to help the kids learn what it's like from seed to plate. Early childhood coach Rochelle Madafi helps with the process. She's given me other ideas of ways to use the garden, not just as a meal, but incorporated as using the science, using it as math. Uh, mine has a spider. Mine has a spider. That's okay. Spiders help. They get to hold the seeds that they've probably never held before. They get to hold the seedlings and dig into the dirt. A lot of kids don't know where their food comes from. They can't relate a farm or a garden to the food that's put in front of them for dinner. But thanks to early sprouts, what they grow is also part of what they eat for lunch or snack, giving them an opportunity to try new things. Our littlest one um, won't touch anything green. Gave her a little ranch dressing and she couldn't get enough. I have our four watering cans and they know they have to take turns. So I got it. Now the big thing is is finding all the yellow flowers and then going back a couple days later to see if the yellow flowers have turned into the start of a cucumber yet. Wendy keeps parents up to date on the garden's progress by posting pictures on her Facebook page, and she saves any extra veggies to share with her families. I've sent um, chard home with recipes. Oh, careful, you have to pick towards the stem. It's something I definitely will be continuing with the kids each year. A move that will hopefully keep these little ones sliding toward a lifelong love of gardening and making healthy choices.